Okay, so here I am inside of the Linux universe. Now, I don't know how many of you know Linux or not, but you will become a little bit familiar with Linux as I walk you through some of these pieces. It's very important that, um, it's very important that um, you understand Linux at least at the basic level. So let's go through this. I am at the uh, root folder, and I'm going to do lsla, and it lists a bunch of directories to me. Now, ls in Linux stands for listing or directory, and hyphen lah means you want the long listing, you want all files, that's what the a is for, and h means I want it in human readable format. Human readable format is what presents me with things like these, 4K, 30K, 16K. If I didn't put in the H, it would be giving me the listings of files in bytes. The A right here is what gives me files, that, even the files that are hidden. And in Linux, anything that starts with a dot is a hidden file. For example, right here, this file dot auto fsck is a hidden file and dot and dot dot as well current directory parent directory these are also hidden files if I didn't supply the a it wouldn't show me uh, these hidden files right here if I didn't supply the H it would be listing these in bytes if I didn't supply the L it would just provide me with the names of the files but not who owns it and who the user is that has access to it neither would it provide me with the permissions that is here on the left and I need to explain these permissions to you as well this permission right here the D R W X R hyphen X R hyphen X I want to explain these permissions to you and also uh, talk about uh, briefly how Linux permissions work. So I'm going to open up a little notepad window. I'm going to change uh, the font here so that you guys can see it a little bit better. So the permissions D R W X. Now, as you can see in this particular instance, there are three sets of RXs, RWXs, there's a hyphen in some case. I'm going to introduce one of them to you and then tell you what the other two are. So read, write, and execute is what these stand for. In Linux, you don't have file names or file name extensions that dictate what the file can do. In Windows, for example, in Windows, file extensions like exe, msi, vbs, bat, cmd, oops, cmd, com, all of these dictate that these are executables and that text files and back files and dat files and such are associated with some other program. In Linux, it doesn't really work that way. File extensions really don't mean anything. And also in Windows, you have drive letters, D, E, C, F, G, and so on. In Linux, you really don't have drive letters. You have what are known as mount points. Everything is mounted off of the root uh, directory, the root or the top of the directory structure. Everything is mounted underneath there. And everything is spawned off underneath there in Linux. There's also something called the init process. And all processes are members or all are sub-processes underneath the init process. And users and groups have IDs, UID, GID. And uh, the root user has a UID GID of zero. Everything is created from the root user. These permissions right here, the D stands for directory. 
The R stands for read, as you can imagine. W stands for write. And the X stands for execute. Okay. Now, the first column can contain a D. It can contain a hyphen. It can contain a S. It can con contain a C or a B. The hyphen means that it is a file. D, as you know already, stands for directory. S is a special uh, object. C is a character object. And B is a block object. A block object can be uh, a, a, f um, dir a uh, uh, disk is an example of a block object. A tape drive is an example of a block object. Printer is an example of a character object. Special, perhaps, can be images and such that are stored in a special way. That can be an S. So the first column can be D hyphen or S or C or B or um, for a block. Read, write, execute has three different um, sets of read, write, executes, as you can see right here. And the first read, write, execute, the first read, write, execute is for the user. The second read, write, execute is for the group. And the third read write execute permission is for everyone else. 